Now, I'd like to make clear, this plate and the rolls were never intended to do this. It was simply intended to be shown as a stationary uh, three-dimensional model at the conference for future energy in Washington last November for the support of those from the selector from this technology. The talk of the mass instruments, we decided that we could go further and do some experiment work to prove the missing information we need for the patent application. What we've seen is the proof of that experiment. Now, anyone saying it can't work it must be feeling awful. Because here before their very eyes prove that not only will they stay on, they will actually rotate at a constant rate. When we increase the voltage and we get not too higher than the 10 volts we're using, because the space for them to rotate is not there. So we have to accept that this particular rate of velocity shown here if the maximum we dare go, why have we got these spoils in the way with which we are doing our measurements? So where is that force coming from that is now constantly accelerating that? Right, now we look what happened for less two. Maybe best to put that at the marker. We'll put that to line, line up as a marker so that uh, one can see what that does. Right, now if we put the part on that low, it won't run because it's sitting at the bottom of the trough until the trough is excited. It shouldn't run until the trough is excited. We leave it there so that it's sitting still. Now, oh, now we see how Newton's law behave when we insert the second one. Right, nothing has happened. Now if I bring this over to the trough, So what we see in here, that there is on one a little bit more forceful moment acting. That is probably due to the interaction between the one already there and the one that is added to it. Now now balance out, I think that can be seen now quite clearly. Newton's law is upheld. Now continuing at constant speed at constant distance from each other. Newton is wrong. Especially now we really want to get one to the to the front. Is that alright? Okay. Right. Right. Now we've got three rollers. And at the moment, nothing is added in force. Now we're going, to, we're going to gently itch this forward until it feels a force. It's clearly that Newton's law still holds true. They are traveling at constant speed. Each roller is exerting a force on the left one. 
and the chain reaction is happening between the rollers. So, so far, we haven't broken it at all. Now, what we, we've seen here is it uh, comes into the law of the squares, which will be dealt with later. But we still keep to Newton's law for the moment in our discussion. Right, we now place four. Now, look carefully how they're positioned. Now, they're positioned because it's like a spring. It's selected. One of the uh, way, uh, well, tip in the spring or the top of the way. Now we'll, we'll try to make sure some force is applied. The force applied is negligible. But Newton's law is upheld. They still travel at constant speed. And each reaction between roll and roller are keeping a set distance. But because the wave on it is set for 12 rollers, the wave gets stretched a bit at certain points. They are moving, even though it's a tiny force that was applied. It is underway based on the force acting on it. So between this and here, there's a force, quite a large one. Yet it's only a little force that we are exciting on. It well reminds me of Albert Einstein when he stated that the atom had this gigantic amount of energy in it, it would take too much energy to get that out, so it wouldn't be worth it. The boss is proved wrong. The same picture here. One would think it takes a lot of energy to make this happen, yet it doesn't. It was only taking roughly 7 volts and around about 600 milliamps to produce this force. And this is the interesting point, that every line of flux that is cutting a line of conductor will induce electricity. The faster this goes, the higher will that voltage induce be. And current is proportional to the voltage. So the higher we can get this voltage up, we can then step it down to get the current really far. That's not complicated to do, that's doing being done all the time. All we're doing is show that we can use a very small force to get a very big force out of it. These rollers are traveling at constant speed, exactly as you can explain. Where are we breaking the laws of physics? Where? Yeah, Tell me. 